Hey guys, it's Steve on the Guru Brew. Today we're going to make this birdhouse on the CNC machine. This isn't an ordinary birdhouse, this has a wire attached to it. Inside this birdhouse is a hidden webcam. That way we can spy on wildlife. So coming up on the Guru Brew, webcam birdhouse. Hang out for that. Okay, I wanted to show you a little bit about how I did this birdhouse. I'm using SolidWorks, and you can see here's an assembly of the birdhouse currently the way I have it. And you basically make the assembly out of parts. If I right-click on this front piece and I open the part, you can see how I actually built this piece. And I can tip it on side and show you the thickness of the wood. So what you do in SOLIDWORKS is you start with a drawing. Let me show you this drawing. It's all sketched out, exactly every hole, every dimension. Here's the angle of that. And then once I get it the way I want it, I go ahead and extrude it, and that's what makes the thickness. And I can change the extrude by clicking on this button, editing my feature. You can see it's set right now for a half inch. Let's say, I just wanted to show you the difference. Let's make it two inch piece of thickness of wood, just to give you an idea. You can see how it made it two inches thick. Anyway, I don't want that. Let's go ahead and close that. So you draw all your pieces and then you slowly put them together. Um, by assembling them and you can see that I can actually move the roof right off here if I want. Oh look that piece stayed at two inches. Let's go in and fix that real quick. Extrude, edit, and we're just gonna change this to a half inch. Oops. My computer's a little laggy with SolidWorks and my recording software going at the same time. I apologize for that. There we go. Let's go ahead and save the changes on that and uh, see what our model looks like now. Rebuild it, because I changed it. There we go, all better. Then I can just slide my roof right on, see. Anyway, once you, this isn't a video about how to draw in SolidWorks. I have some videos coming up of a new program and um, we're gonna play with that a little bit. More details on that later, but uh, once you get your SolidWorks drawing uh, made, you can build this part. And SolidWorks has a nice little program in it for actually doing the drawings for you. I'll just give you a little taste of it. Let's say I'm all done here with my drawing of the birdhouse, and I want to go ahead and make like a drawing, and I'll show you my finished drawing here. Close that out. And this should be my drawing here. There we go. And the way that I did this is I use SolidWorks to help me. I'm in the mode for drawing right now. And if I come over to Model Items, this button here, I can actually pick what kind of items I want to put on my sheet. If I click this Model View button here, it opens up this box that I can choose my model and I can browse for my assembly that I just showed you a minute ago this one of the completed birdhouse and then I can open that and you can see there's a box attached to my mouse if I bring that over here sorry for the doubles it'll go away in a minute and I click you can see it uh, put a view of the birdhouse even with the roof that I'm I moved <laughs> Anyway, if I pull up, you can see it automatically gives me different views. So I could pull that over there and that would give me the back view. If I pull down here, it gives me the top view. If I pull over here, it gives me a front view. If I go angled, it gives me like a 3D view. Let me go ahead and drop this view down here so I can show you what I like to do next. So I brought my projected view in in a couple places here. And you know, you can grab them and move them around wherever you want. And um, 
once you get that done I like to come in here and zoom in on the part and then start dimensioning it and you can do that here with the annotations smart dimension let's say I wanted to put a dimension on this base I can just click on it and pull down and you can see that that base is eight inches and I can pull my measurement around so if I want it to be over here I could pull it over here and you can change the font too well, let me do this sloped roof right here click on that and just pull it over just like that if I wanted to do a point to point I could click on the peak of that roof inside and then to my base if I wanted and pull it out and you can see it's 7.14 or I'm sorry 7.41 anyway it's a really easy to draw if you're using SolidWorks I will be doing a tutorial on another program from Vetrix, very good software. I've been getting used to it and I'm going to show you how to use it more in depth than this program and um, so look forward to that. Anyway, once, once you get your drawings done, you print it out and then begin building. That's it for now. This is the wood I'm going to use, it's rough cut cedar. So I have to stay six inches wide. Very good. This is going to be the base and I'm going to have to do it in two different sections and have a seam down the middle. This, um, this wood is only six inches wide and I need a little more than that for my base. So I cut the part in half and I'm just going to do it in two pieces. Okay, well I've got all my parts cut out here. The board was six inches and the base is eight. And um, so I had to do it in two pieces. Other than that, all these boards are six or less. Let's get putting them together. So I thought about putting a camera in this birdhouse. I've got a couple cameras here that I didn't pay very much for. I think I paid ten dollars or less for these USB cameras. I have better ones but uh, as a test I think I would like to put in a cheap one just to see how long it lasts and um, even though it's going to be protected inside the birdhouse I'll probably mount it to the roof or maybe the sidewall this one. Um, you know it's still going to get moisture and really to do this right you need an outside camera designed for this kind of work or a enclosure that you could make yourself I per, you know I'm sure you could make something up yourself anyway let's go ahead and um, start putting this birdhouse together and we'll figure out the camera I'm thinking that the lid is just gonna sit on the top of it and I'll figure out a way to latch it down that way I can take the lid off service the camera as well as you know clean the nest out when it's abandoned 
Anyway, let's go ahead and assemble these parts. I'm going to use some glue and some brad nails. Okay, I got my plans here. I've got all my parts. I've got my glue. I've got a brad nailer over here. Let's get putting this thing together. Plus, I got a piece of dowel pin. This is 3 8. I need to cut a piece off, and I think it's one and a half. I don't have that on the drawing jet. I think it is one and a half, though. Oh, here, yeah, I do. One and a half, right there. <clears throat> I'll put a link to these plans in the description of this video. This glue is not cooperating. Oh, damn it, I just broke it. I just broke my glue. I'll be back. Just trying to get the squeeze out the best I can. Okay, I'll let that dry and then I'll finish it. Looking good. While that was gluing up and drying, I cut a couple pieces of dowel and I just showed you the plans where I called for one and a half. And if I put this one all the way in, it's going to stick out to the end of this. And that's what I planned for in the plans at one and a half. But I'm thinking a little bit longer. This one is two when I put it in there it'll give a better perch so I'm gonna go ahead and glue that in there right now so you know you can use the one and a half if you want but uh, I'm going with a two two inch dull this is three eighths inch dull pin This rough cut uh, cedar has um, a little bit smoother side than the other. So I'm going to put the smoother side inside the box like this. There's, there's hardly a difference, but uh, I'm going to go ahead with what I think is smoother. On the roof you have two different pieces because you get an overlap. Something like that. You go ahead and staple that together. So I put a couple marks where that overlap has to happen so I don't get confused during the gluing process. It's easy to mix up. And then right along this edge. Okay, let that dry up a little bit. And before my glue dries, I'm just going to check it here and make sure it's nice and square. Okay, I'm going to let that dry for a little bit. Okay, well I've been working along on this little birdhouse. I've decided on this Philips webcam. This is something that's been kicking around here. It's 720p and it has some LEDs for night vision and then you can focus it very close with this ring so I figured it'd be a good camera. I'm just gonna go ahead and mount it right here. For now I'm gonna just hot glue it in and have it pointing straight down. Hot glue fixes everything. And then once I'm sure I like the position of it I can always put a strap on it.
there we go well there it is that's how far I got the little birdhouse is almost done if I open up the top here you can see the webcam that I've mounted inside and the wire can escape through the back there and I also put these two blocks in so I can screw in these two screws to hold the lid on so that's going to be it for this week um, as soon as I get this hooked up to a computer and mounted in position I'll do another video to show the progress and uh, how I hooked the computer up and stuff so I hope you liked this video if you did please give us a thumbs up if you want the files go ahead and look in the description of this video and I'll put a link to them and if you decide to make your own let me know I'd like to see some pictures of it thanks for watching I'll see you next time hey guys this is Steve thanks for watching hey don't forget to subscribe if you like this video and be sure to rate and comment see ya Bye for now.